Hi, kindergarten. Did you like that story about the mouse and the iPhone? That was kind of crazy. He got so involved with his iPhone that he didn't even know what was happening around him. He missed out on the amusement park and the roller coaster and all the animals running wild and riding a dolphin to a deserted island. That mouse had no idea because he was so distracted by his phone. And that's the lesson that we can learn from this story, is that phones and tablets are really fun. And sometimes we might want to play with them if we're bored, but sometimes they might become so distracting that we miss all the fun stuff happening around us. What we have to do is try and find some balance in our life. Balance means that sometimes we can use a phone or a tablet, and then other times we should put it away and do other things because we might miss out on amazing things that are happening all over the place. Today, we are also going to do another activity, and that activity is going to be Daniel Tiger. I'm going to show you how to get onto Daniel Tiger from my website, and then I'll show you how to get onto the games and let you play around. Now, I want you to try and use your computer while using these games. I know that many of you maybe have played these games before on a phone or a tablet, but let's try and use our mouse and let's try and use our actual computer to move around and to open up the different games and then how to close them and switch games and learn how to navigate a website. Okay? All right, let me show you how to get onto Daniel Tiger. So the first thing is that we'll open the link in Google Classroom and go to this website. This is my website, mrcarver.net. And if you need to have a parent help you get to this website, go ahead and ask them. Ask, can you get to my Mr. Carver's website? From here, we're going to find the K and click on the K. And from here, we're going to go over to this one called Daniel Tiger. When we click on Daniel Tiger, it's going to load us to Daniel Tiger's homepage. It's him, Daniel Tiger. What we need to do on a homepage like this is figure out where the games are at. So if I look up at the, this button here, it looks like they have art and some music or songs. And that's really fun, but it's not what we're going to do today. This one looks like it has a play button like we'd see on a video. Things I like, but we're not going to do that one today. Over here we have uh, a book, and that a lot of times means we might find stories there. Great uh, normally, but we're not going to do that today. We're heading right here to the blocks where it says games. And games starts with letter G, so G games. We're going to find and click on games. And when we do, we'll see Daniel Tiger games. I see six, but there are a lot more. I can click on the button here to move over to other games, and you'll see lots of different ones to try. So here's how the games work. When you find a game that you think you might like, like Dress Up here, you click it. Dress Up. You push play and you'll get to kind of decorate Daniel Tiger and his friends into lots of different costumes. Uh, I can click on a costume and make him look real or make him look silly. Oh my goodness, he looks silly. And then I can click on other characters and I can make them look real. I like a baker. Or I can make them look silly too. Boop. I like that mustache. That mustache is funny. Uh, I'll put that on there. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now, when you are going to get done with a game, you click the X up here. And by clicking the X, that will take you back to your homepage, and then you can choose something else to try. Maybe you want to try one like um, Sandcastle. In Sandcastle here, you actually get to build a sandcastle. Here, when we click the build... We'll click and drag our different things over here, and that will get them to stack on top of each other, and it looks like we're building a really cool sandcastle. And then we can add other things, too. There's no end to the game. You just keep playing until you are all done, and then you click the X and you try something else. So now it's going to be your turn. I want you to try Daniel Tiger, and I want you to go ahead and... Um, see all the different games and try a few out and, and play for 15 or 20 minutes until your mom or dad or whoever you're with tells you it's time to be done so we can have that balance. Okay? All right. I will see you next time in computer science.